but well done, good and faithful servant. You know, that's the greatest reward we shall get when we meet Jesus in heaven. You know, out of all our sufferings, our, our trials, temptations, persecutions, perseverance, and when we've crowned it all, when we meet him in heaven, he'll tell us that word, well done, good and faithful servant. You were very faithful over a few things. Now, look here, I'll make you a ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. But you know what? As we are pursuing our greatness, we are going to be faced by some challenges. You do not achieve greatness without carrying the weight. Some of us who want to be great, you can't be great without carrying the weight. But also, I discovered that greatness is not only simply achieved by carrying the weight. You know, in one of the stories in the Bible, Matthew chapter 20, verse 20 to 25, there was this, there was this great mom of two sons. Maybe they were only her sons. And along the way, Jesus picked them to be his disciples to be his disciples so they were the beauty is they were closest friends of jesus so after the mom knowing maybe they reported it to the mom that you know mommy jesus is our best friend we are three and whenever he goes he can't leave us um okay the the other one is peter but the two of us we walk with jesus so this lady had one time came to Jesus, she worshipped him, and she bowed before him, and Jesus sensed what she wanted. And asked, what do you want? She said, do you know what, Jesus? Can you make one, these two sons of mine to be great? One to sit on your right hand, and the other one to sit on your left hand in your kingdom. Who doesn't want that? And Jesus, to make these people great, in response to that question or to that request, Jesus became furious and asked this time the, 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 the people who were being, uh, they, were, they were requesting, being requested for, said, you don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I'm about to drink in order to be great? Are you able? And you know, foolishly and ignorantly they said yes we are able and jesus said okay yes you will drink up on this cup let me tell you friends if we are to be anything we have to drink the cup on which jesus drank on as we are pursuing our career or careers in different disciplines there is a cup you must drink the cup of a bitter nurse, the cup of that lecturer, just mere looking at you. Are you able to drink the cup of the university? Are you able? There is a cup to be drunk at the university, a cup of perseverance, a cup of keeping yourself pure. So as that you are at the university, there is a cup you must drink. Some of you, you want to be great, whatever physician is in the world. Are you able to drink of that cup? Are you able to drink the cup of marriage? Are you able to drink the cup of work? Are you able? You know, Jesus asked these two people, but it's ours. There is a cup for every level. Whenever you want to climb the ladders of faith, you will come across this cup, like it or not. Are we there? But also, you can read Hebrews 11, all oh, these guys, Moses, a great man, a great deliverer. The Bible talks about him as the greatest man who has ever humbled himself before God. But he drank of this cup at one time. He went to work for his father-in-law. Huh? For 40 years, 
tending to the flock, to the sheep of his father-in-law. What an embarrassment, friends. But he persevered. In fact, he had forgotten his call even. By the time God came to call him, to relaunch him into the mission, he didn't want to go. He had forgotten about all of this. 